Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing a reading for a sign of Aquarius, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every Aquarius. If you'd like a personal reading, that's going to be the first link in the description down below. I'm going to repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You can also find my Etsy shop, my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon and Ko-Fi. Go support me on Ko-Fi, help me reach the next level. Let's make yet another new deck, and if you'd like to make a donation, Feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So Aquarius, let's see what Spirit has in store for yourself as a message for you. What's coming towards you? So let's see. Alright. Oh, we have the Devil. Hmm. We have the King of Cups. We have Seven of Pentacles. And the Ace of Swords. So we have someone here meditating. Really? Meditating with owls. We have justice. There's some sort of justice that you're getting, but we're also... Um, we're moving into a more abundant season. We have the Fool. We have a Nine of Swords. Or Eight of Swords, I mean. We have Six of Swords. So it's like you're, you're getting in the boat, Aquarius. You're pushing your own boat... You're moving forward here, alright? Maybe this is something that you contemplated or meditated about for a while. Now, I don't really like the devil card. Maybe there's a need for, like, some sort of cleansing. We do have fertility here as well with the seven of pentacles with the woman like that. Alright? We also have the king of cups, which could be that of Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So you can have those placements in your chart, one around you. The Five of Swords. And the Magician, you're manifesting here, Aquarius. We have the Two of Pentacles, we have two children. We have the Three of Cups, now we have three children. We have the Empress. Alright, you're in this Empress mode, manifesting. Alright, we have the Knight of Pentacles. We have your Pentacles coming in as well. We have the Seven of Cups, look at this. Alright, you're going to be you're gonna be happy, Aquarius. Yeah, the butterfly, that's transformation. So I feel like you're transforming into a more happy life. We have the five of wands. Alright. Maybe someone trying to compete with you, like a competitor, but I feel like you're just better. Alright, Aquarius, you're appearing as the empress, you're appearing as a magician. Could be something about children or fertility there, because we have the children here, we have that card in the beginning. We have the Eight of Pentacles, alright? So we have you hard at work at your craft here. Maybe there's something with horses as well. If not, either way, you're still with your craft. We have the High Priestess. Okay, so you're appearing as the High Priestess or the High Priest here, but you're heavily intuitive. You're heavily connected here with the spirit realm. Alright, with God and all those things. Here we have, we have the light in the dark. We have a white candle. We have a black candle. We have a book. There may be some sort of spiritual knowledge that you're getting here. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have things turning. All right, we have seasons changing. We have the Eight of... Or not... What? That card was not even the card that I pulled. <laughs> we have the Princess of Pentacles. All right, we have the woman, like, writing something down. And there's also, like, a stack of money on the table. There's a stack of money. There's, like, a bag of money on the ground as well. All right, look at this square. So there's a bunch of money. We have a Ten of Cups. Yeah, you see, there's something about family. There's something about children here. And some sort of manifestations. Alright, with the Ten of Cups, we have the man, we have the woman. Which is like the union. And then we have child. Okay. I don't know if that's something that you were manifesting or what. We have the Nine of Wands. We have a Scarecrow. Alright, we do have Halloween in a couple months. Which, you know, it's like... Scarecrow is like... Rose. You know, it's that kind of Halloweenish vibe. We have a Seven of Swords, which I don't really like. We have a Six of Pentacles. Alright, we have your generosity here, but I also want to tell you, be careful on who you're being generous to, because some people may try to, like, you know, some people aren't right. You know what I'm saying? We 
have a ten of wands. All right, we have watermelons. We have the queen of swords, which I feel like it's going to be yourself, whether male or female, it does not matter. We have the hermit, which could be Virgo, so you get about the placements or one around you. But we have these ruins that the hermit is looking at, which we are going to pull ruins at the end of your reading. We have the eight of wands. We have communication coming forward here. Maybe communication from your spirit guides as well, because it's a bird. But either way, communication. And the princess of wands. This is something that you may have been expecting. Here, we have the nine of cups. We have your knight coming in to communicate with you. Maybe your prince charming. We have the four of swords. Alright, so we have... I don't know if this is a groundhog, a beaver, or what this is. But we have some sort of animal here in the winter. We have the two of wands. We have you building a life together with someone here. Alright, there's, there's like a... Some sort of plant there. Some sort of vegetable or whatever. We have the moon. Alright, so you're connecting with the moon, Aquarius. Now, your this last full moon was your full moon. So you, it should have been very easy for you to connect with. We have the four of pentacles. Alright, so we're storing some money away or something. We have the death card, which reminds me of like the goddess Morgan. Here. You can look up that goddess if you're curious about it. But it's like a goddess of like death. And it's nothing to be afraid of, alright? But, there's someone wanting to connect with you. We have temperance, alright? So now we're connecting with fairies as well. We have the page, or the princess of swords. We have someone here looking into something. We have the ten of pentacles. Alright, look at that. There's money. There's wine. There's abundance. There's abundance between... You and a person here. We have the two of wands. Alright. We have a ten of cups. We have on the bottom of the deck, we have the chariot, which can be about the cancer. Maybe with the cancer, some with cancer placement. So we have the nine of swords, in which we have a bunch of bats here chasing a woman. We have the hangman. It's interesting. Alright, this man is hanging upside down, but he's like frozen halfway, right, where there's ice on him. But the other half is like melted, right, where he's, he's normal. We have a nine of cups, alright, there's wish fulfillments, there's ladybugs, which is good luck. Aquarius, there's like picnics, alright, we have the two of cups, which is love, um... But you've already discussed that in your reading. Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. We have a Seven of Wands. We have a Nine of or Ten of Swords. We have a Five of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups, which would be that of Water. We have the Emperor. All right, we have someone appearing as the Emperor. That could be you. That could be your person. We have the King of Swords, which I feel like is yourself, whether you're male or female. It does not matter. All right, but we have. You may have someone around you worrying about things in the past that already happened a while ago or things, you know, there's, they have, they have good things in their life, but they're deciding to focus on, like, what's not there. Alright, Aquarius. Now, Queen of Cups, we have someone here very deep in their emotions. That could be you or that could be your person. And we also have the Emperor. Like I said, either you're, wait. In the beginning of this reading, we had the Empress, and now we have the Emperor popping out, alright? We have the Two of Cups, so this tells me that you and your person are your Empress and Emperor, alright? Very powerful people coming together, alright, Aquarius. So, let us get some runes, some charms to yourself. Neptune. Alright, so we're connecting with Neptune. Neptune. It's Pisces ruling planet. So it's connecting with that of creativity, dreams. You know what I'm saying here? Um, so yeah, Neptune. Getting into your more creative side. 
All right, Aquarius, but you are you guys are pretty creative here. We have the sun beetle, which you're connecting to. We have this jellyfish sea dragon, which the jellyfish is like um, freaky healing. We have Pisces, so we have a heavy connection with Pisces here. All right, you can have Pisces in your Neptune in your birth chart, or you're just connecting with the Pisces. All right, some somewhere in your life. We have Sun God Ra. We have Hathor. We have a Sun and the Moon Dragon, which is a state of balance. We have this Dragon Moon, which can be a symbol of Kuan Yin. We have this Moth Girl, which you are connecting to. So connect with the Moth, connecting with the Moon. Aquarius, the Moon, you know, is connecting to psychic abilities. We have Joy, we have communication coming forward. We have new beginnings or births here, and there's rewards coming in. There's a journey. Alright, so, Aquarius, that is all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. Also go on my Etsy shop. Go on there, go buy something. Really appreciate that. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.